What's up guys? Long time no see. How is everyone doing? I hope you all are doing well, staying safe out there with this crazy madness. So today I went to my favorite store, as you all know, grocery outlet. Um, I went in this time really with no budget because I really didn't expect to find a whole lot. And um, pretty sure you all know how the stores are. We just got back from our trip. Uh, we had to cut it short. Um, I'll be doing a video kind of on that. I may go live or something, but anywho, um, we needed some things. I didn't really have much of a list because like I said, I didn't really expect to find very much. Of course, they were out of a lot of things, but I did manage to find milk, thankfully. <laughs> um, so yeah, today's total was $257. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. Um, we're kind of changing up our eating style a little bit. Um, I'll explain that in another video, but uh, yeah, you guys, so let me go ahead and show you guys. So part of what we're going to be doing now is strictly like chicken and like ground turkey, seafood kind of stuff. No more red meats, like maybe like on occasion, but I picked up three things of ground turkey. I got some chicken thighs right here. These were literally the last packs of chicken that they had there. So I got the chicken thighs and then I did get some chicken drumsticks. Then I found these little Austin Market bean and ham soup. Like they're just little individual like soup cup thingies. So I thought, you know, why not for like just a little itty bitty lunch idea or something. I don't know. Um, I did go ahead and pick up this huge pack. Uh, it's a club pack chicken tenders. They're lightly breaded. Um, there's actually quite a bit in here. Let me see how many pounds this is. So it is four pounds, you guys. So you do get a pretty good amount in there, as you can kind of see. Um, they're kind of on the smaller side, but actually that's pretty kind of like a perfect size, especially when you have a big family. So got those. Got a couple packs of hot dogs and then a 12 pack of the ham and cheddar hot pockets. Um, did also get the Foster Farms chicken breast fillets. This is a two and a half pound bag, so I got those. And then I also got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs by Tyson. Then I came across these little snack bowls by Jack Links. It's the cheeseburger flavor. They were only 99 cents, so I went ahead and picked up a few of them. And I figured I would give these to the kiddos as maybe like a little lunch thing or something. Um, and then I also got these. I'm actually pretty excited about. I haven't had like actual like authentic like pad thai in forever, but they have this chicken pad thai. It's called by Authentic Asia. Um, so you can kind of see there, you get the sauce with rice noodles, bean sprouts, eggs, and carrots. So I want to go ahead and give this a try to go ahead and pick up a couple of them. Uh, like I said, they had milk. I know some stores have been out. Um, my brother went the other day to, I think, Winco, he said, and they only, he got like the last gallon of, that they had of 2% milk, which we drink 1%, but you know, when they don't have it, 2% is fine, but they, this grocery outlet, they were stocked on milk, thank goodness, they did not have eggs though, you guys, but luckily my brother already had some, so we're good, set for at least a week or so. A couple of these kid cuisines for the kiddos, the spaghetti ones. Then I got some General Sao chicken. Actually, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but whatevs. Um, I don't remember if I've ever had this one. It's by Island Walk. I think I may have, but I did go ahead and pick up a couple packages of that. Uh, kiddos had been bugging me for some of these little circus cookies. These were like my all-time fave growing up, so I went ahead and picked up a box of those. I got this for hubby because I know he likes chickpeas. It's the Lean Cuisine Origins Coconut Chickpea Curry. It sounds pretty good. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up. I figured I could probably go ahead and, you know, pop this in as like a lunch for him or something. Got some canned corn. Thankfully, they were out of a bunch of other canned goods, but I did manage to scoop up some cans of corn. Um, not the cheapest though, I will say. Um, but anywho, I probably should have picked up more, but I would, did go ahead and pick up five cans. Did also get some syrup and a few of these Gatorade Flow Kiwi Strawberry. Next up, I got these Smart Made Egg White and Turkey Sausage Breakfast Wraps. These were like $1.50. Um, I believe you get like two in here. So I went ahead and picked these up. I figured these would be a great little thing for hubby for like breakfast in the morning or something. So I got two of those. Um, I did also get some caramel flan as well as some fruit 
Jello, which is, you know, Jello. I think it's like strawberry and orange flavored. Yeah. And it has like pieces of fruit in it, like peaches or something. I don't know. Um, I got a couple bags of this salad shrimp meat. So I want to make my little seafood salad that I make. These I saw and I've never seen this flavor before. Pretty sure it's like a holiday flavor, but it's the Vortman uh, wafer cookies and it's the white chocolate cranberry. That sounded so interesting. Cranberry in a wafer. So I'm excited to try that out. Big old bag of shredded cheese. I got a couple of cantaloupes, one to eat and one to make a uh, cantaloupe water. Um, then I picked up a couple of the Hawaii's own limeade. You just add water to it in a pitcher, you guys. Um, that's honestly my favorite brand of, um, oh my gosh, I cannot even think <laughs> of like, you know, frozen juice, whatever. Um, then I found this. And this is the Mary Kitchen by Hormel. It's hash browns with it's turkey sausage hash. So you get turkey sausage, sweet potatoes, onions, red bell peppers, and seasonings. Um, it sounded pretty good. I don't really, I'm not really a fan actually of sweet potatoes, but I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try because it does. It looks amazing. Hubby was with, so he wanted some pickles here i didn't even see the flavor zesty dill spears so hopefully he likes those i don't know um then they had this berry juice drink it was only 99 cents so i went ahead and picked up one of those probably turned my mouth blue but hey that's the fun part of it right a uh, couple bags of yellow potatoes golden potatoes whatever you want to call them hubby wanted asparagus i'm not really huge on it i think i've had it probably like a couple times in my life but he wanted some so i figured to go ahead and pick that up um we got some why can I not think what the heck this is? Celery. Celery, y'all. We got some celery. Some bananas. Some strawberries. A thing of cabbage. This baggie here. I have a couple bunches of cilantro. Then I got a pack of this Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars. It's the maple brown sugar. Um, these sounded really good. So I've always been a fan of these little granola bars. Um, and then I got by Parade, I'm not familiar with this brand, but it's the fruit and grain cereal bars and they are strawberry flavored. And then these ones right here are the best choice fruit and grain cereal bars. They're the mixed berry. These ones were only 99 cents. So I got a couple boxes of those. Got some tomatoes, some limes. These are actually pretty big limes. They were like three, four dollars, so that was awesome. Also got some just garden salad and I got a couple bags of shredded lettuce. Got a bag of broccoli slaw, some shredded carrots, and then a couple bags of um, baby carrots. Got a huge bag of apples, you guys, I believe. What were these? I think these were like honey crisp apples or something. Um, and then we got some avocados here. They had no tortillas, you guys. So hubby saw these like, you know what? They may not be corn, but we're just gonna go ahead and get them. So you get like, four 10 packs in here so you get like 40 flour tortillas so we picked up two packages of those we got some mushrooms here a big bag of oranges uh i did pick up some zucchinis some little zucchinis some mandarin oranges for the kiddos enchilada sauce and a capri sun 10 pack orange flavored um then we got some pop tarts we got the cookies and cream and the Oh, what is this? A chocolate peanut butter? And I believe these were like a buck fifty each, so that was a good deal. And down here we got this 24 pack of pineapple juice, you guys. I was gonna get it last time I was there, and then I remember when I was at checkout, and I just I didn't want to go back. And we managed to scoop up the last one that they had. So it's an awesome deal. We only paid like 10 bucks for this, and normally like the little six pack, or is it a four pack? It's either four or six pack, it's usually like like four bucks ish so this was a pretty good deal to get the 24 of them then i got this variety pack 28 snacks you get the uh like little mini oreo by key oreo not chocolate chip <laughs> by keebler we got the fudge stripes the scooby-doo there's some fruit snacks in there and then the famous amos and then i got this big old box of farm rich french toast sticks and lastly you got a frito-lay chips bag mix with sour cream and onion barbecue cheetos chili cheese cool ranch and nacho cheese because you know we need our snacks you guys so that is it for this haul you guys thank you so much for watching stay safe out there you guys bye